Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Donners Optic Basketball. This is a fast break edition, just dropped today. So you'll get a different, um, different from hobby obviously, different configuration, different, slightly different checklist, and then you definitely get the exclusive fast break parallels. That's what we want to see. So different exclusive. One spot gets you two teams in a four box break from a fresh case. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. Three and a one, four times for this four box break. One, two, three, and a one. After four times, we got Darren down to Mike. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four, we got the New York Knicks down to the Dallas Mavericks. All right, the Porterhouse Steak with the New York Knicks. Kime with the Cavs, Nick Stover with the Trailblazers, Darren with the Hawks and the Warriors, Andrew Laspod Mojo, Suns, Darren with the Jazz, Mark with the Magic, Travis with the Bucks, Kime with the Kings, Travis with the Nuggets, Darren with the Pacers, William with the Celtics, Nick with the Clippers, Darren with the Pistons, Carl with the Grizzlies and the Sixers, Mark with the T Wolves, and Andrew with the Chicago Bulls, and your other Laspod Mojo team. Nick with the Wizards, William with the Lakers, Sean with the Raptors and Pelicans, Mike with the Heat, Carlos with the Charlotte Hornets. Carl with the OKC Thunder, Carlos with the Spurs, Nick with the Rockets, Carl with the Nets, and Mike Tower with the Dallas Mavericks. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's box these up right here. And I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. Be right. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in this four-box break. Wednesday the 13th, thanks for spending a bit of your Wednesday with us. We appreciate that. Thank you, and a good time to get into the hoops because the basketball season, we're in the preseason, but basketball season's almost upon us. We're getting there. All right, so there it is, Optic, fast break. Fresh case, I'm grabbing my knife here. box here. So there's four stacks of five. So I'm going to take one box right off the top. So we have now have five stacks of four. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to select a die. We'll select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five. If I roll a six, we'll just roll again. One, two, three, four, and five. Three. One, two, Three right there. So we'll do the middle stack. And these other stacks we will save for next time. So I'm going to mark these with X's so we know that they're all going to be from the same case right there. So you'll see these next time. I'm going to set them on my desk over here. Yeah. Next time, I may just grab just a random stack of four, but you'll see the X's so you know they're from the same case. So it may get mixed up a little bit, but that's all right. The, 
the holiday spirit. I guess the false, the seasonal spirit. All right. There's Luca on the box here, looking for fast break parallels, maybe some fast break exclusive signatures. Let's see, the bell wants to make some noise. I mean, hopefully we can, if we ring the bell on a fast break break, that'd be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, remember, ladies and gentlemen, brand new release just dropped today. So if you're feeling the hoops, if you're feeling the hoops action, get into it. All right, yeah, maybe Darren's saying maybe a little pumpkin spice optic. Yeah, tis the season. What's going on, Darren? Did you see your teams? You got Hawks, Pistons, Warriors, and Jazz. Yeah, it could be some uh, some James Weissmans for you. That's the, I think um, generally we see this every year, but generally there's some overlap between last year's class and this current season. But what's great about that is that now that you, we have last year's, this is still last year, the Lamelo Ball class, right? So we can start to see those uh, rookies in this class start their second season, start their second years. I think maybe by, what, the end of the month? I think there's a two or three more weeks left. Next week. Ne next week, first regular season game? Wow. Lakers, Warriors. Gosh, already. Um, so what's great about that is you can start seeing those, those players from last year and see how they start their second years, because uh, that often really cements their, uh, their value. All right, so we're talking Anthony Edwards, James Weissman, LaMelo Ball, Patrick Williams for the Bulls, Isaac Okoro, Okongwu, Obi Toppin, Denny Avija, Tyrese Halliburton, you know, and, and then rookies that maybe like Avija, uh, Cole Anthony, you know, maybe didn't have the, the hottest of starts, right? But if they, you know, they're still young. All these kids are, these are kids. 18, 19 years old, maybe. So when you start to see, hopefully, there's a Kongu right here. Speaking of which, there it is. Fast break signatures, Onyeka Kongu. You know, we can start to see some uh, late bloomers as, as well, later bloomers. So that goes to the ATL. That's for Darren, the Porterhouse Steak. Right. I mean, Peyton Pritchard, Al's right. Think, think about Peyton Pritchard. He's on, I mean, the Celtics are kind of reconfiguring that team. Guys like Peyton Pritchard may be a big part of, you know, may get just a lot more minutes. Obi Toppin was really hyped. That goes to Darren and the Knicks. Obi Toppin was really hyped going into the draft. Some people thought he might have been a top five pick. I don't think he really, he was solid, didn't really light it up in the, uh, in the regular season, I want to say, but he's got a high ceiling. 71 at 85, Kelly Obrey Jr. Right, some people argued, argued that Anthony Edwards should have been Rookie of the Year. So there's a lot of great value right there. Kelly Obrey Jr. going to... Darren and the Warriors. And there's our first LaMelo ball, just base LaMelo ball. But that is for Charlotte. Carlos got randomized the Hornets. And we already know what LaMelo ball can do. Now, if he keeps it going, that's going to be, that's going to see a huge bump. That's what happened with, uh, that's what happened with guys like uh, Zion and Luka Doncic especially, we saw the, that phenomenon with Luka Doncic more recently. 
was everyone was like, is, is that guy for real? Hobby wise, is that guy for real? Are we investing big money into, into Luka Doncic? And then the, his second year, he was amazing. And I think that pretty much solidified it. And his, his cards took another, another boost bump, boost upwards. And uh, all cards ship in this, by the way. I was just double checking. So like that LeBron will ship. And obviously all of these numbered cards will ship as well. Tyler Hero to 50 for Miami, for Mike. And that second year, uh, that second year Zion and that second year John Morant. Tyrese Maxey. Carl with the Sixers. I don't know what they're going to do with Ben Simmons. But without Ben Simmons, this guy might get some more minutes. There's Kyrie Irving, 20 out of 20. <laughs> Might just play half the season. Goes to Brooklyn, Carl. There's the rookies, James Weissman. LaMarcus Aldridge. So this is the fast break parallel. The Some, some sets call it donuts, some sets call it bubbles. Fast break parallel. Disco. Disco, I've heard as well. So there's the uh, the rookies, James Weissman for Darren. The uh, the rookies insert. There's Luka Doncic. Kira Lewis Jr. Purple to ninety five. Skylar Mays and Daniel Otoru. All right. Next box. Yeah, Alice saying saying Peyton Pritchard. Gonna be sixth man of the year, mark my word. Marked. Marked. Twelve fifty two Pacific time. 12.52 Pacific Time, Wednesday, October 13th, 2021, Al B, Alisang, Peyton Pritchard, Sixth Man of the Year, marked. Jack, uh, can you explain what teams you get there? The three teams listed in that title, Timberwolves, Lakers, Grizzlies. So what you're getting in that break is you're getting those three teams in Spectra, pick your team, 15. And you're getting a serial number. So it's a number break for those three teams. And the details on how that works is in the item uh, in the description. But essentially, you just get a block of numbers for those three teams in Spectra 15. All right, second fast break box. Uh, Brand new release, just dropped today. Another four boxes in the store right now. Goran Dragic. We got a nice Tyrese Halliburton. 18 out of 85, rated rookie red. Going to Kime and the Sacramento Kings. That's right, Jack. So any cards I pull from those teams, if they match the number, if they match your number, whatever number you get randomized, then yeah. That's what you get. Another LaMelo ball. Six. 
Second Lamelo, still base, but still nice. Carlos, hopefully he starts his second year off strong. There's Montrezarel, 15 out of 50. For the Lakers, that's going to go to William. There's Westbrook, still a Wizards edition there. And your autograph is Isaac Okoro. Fast break signatures gold. Three out of ten on that one. So that is uh, for Kime. Cleveland, this is for you. He was a, uh, a Cora was a top five pick. So I'd like to see him go off this season as well. That would be nice. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Seth Curry to 95. Correct, Carl. Or yeah, Car Jack. Let's see what Carl says. Not only four though, but four, 24, 34, 54, et cetera, et cetera. And a nice Anthony Edwards fast break parallel. That goes to Mark and the Timberwolves. Nice. If you get that graded, if that grades out nicely, that could be pretty strong. That is not what I say, Darren Porter. That is... That is uh, fake news. Another Anthony Edwards base this time. LeBron James, fast break parallel. For the for my uh, Lakers, William has my Lakers, and a base Anthony Edwards. Jamal Murray, Hampton. And Danny Avija back here. Two boxes to go. How is a uh, I just saw this Verbo commercial. How is Verbo different from Airbnb? Or is it the same thing and it's just a competitor? Packaging on this fast break is it's a little flimsy. John Beck says, oh, Verbo's been around a lot, around way longer? All right, next fast break box. Ooh, the autograph popping already. It's Lonzo Ball, Lamelo's brother. Fast break signatures. Still Pelicans edition here. That's going to go to Sean Maddock with the Pels. 
I feel like he's on the Bulls now, but I feel like that Bulls team is is looking interesting. There's Serge Ibaka to 85. And speaking of the Bulls, there's a rated rookie, Patrick Williams, who was your fourth overall pick. Just a base addition, but there could be some real upside to this guy, too. He had a solid season last year as well. There's Isaac Okoro, Robert Woodard. Tyrese Halliburton. So John's saying Verbal's been around way longer, but trying to catch up with uh, Airbnb now that Airbnb blew up. Got it. But essentially the same service, though? All right, so Kime gets the Tyrese Halliburton. Got a Zeke Naji hollow. I feel like Zeke Naji showed some moments. Last year, these hollow rated rookies are are ones that people really like, especially if they grade out nicely. That goes to uh, Denver. That'll be for Travis. Goran Dragic, ninety five. Nico Mannion. Ooh, and a base, Anthony Edwards. Another one for Minnesota, Mark Rao. Ah, interesting. So John's saying, yeah, you'll find a, pretty much the same. Verbo and Airbnb, you'll find a lot of properties. Double listed on both. Timberwolves, Mark Rao with the T-Wolves. All those Anthony Edwards's will add up. Miles Bridge, I almost, almost thought that was going to be a Lamello. But here he is. That's the rookies insert, LaMelo Ball. Another one for Carlos and Charlotte. I'm trying to look for some parallels for this guy. Let's get some color here. And we got a Tyrese Maxey, rated rookie, 32 out of 50 for Carl and the Sixers. Yeah, John's saying there. Might imagine there's a pretty big generational difference between people who use Verbo versus people who use Airbnb. Yeah, I suppose. It, yeah, it's kind of like Uber, Uber and Lyft. You see, you see the tags for both on some of the cars out there in the world. Um, I read something. Speaking of Uber and Lyft, that uh. That the uh, that the cab, the traditional yellow cab or black cab or green cab, or whatever color it is, but the cab is making a comeback because in in certain cities, especially major metropolitan areas, there's not enough. There's not a lot of Uber or Lyft drivers. There's just less. People are using them less too because more people are working from home. So, which kind of ironically sometimes creates, you know, more surge pricing at certain times because not enough drivers, right? But still, I guess, still some people who want to use it. So the pricing is a little weird. So people have now started turning to regular cabs again. And now, now cab companies have uh, have been better about, you know, they have mobile apps now where you can call a cab now. This happened to me uh, a couple months ago when we came back from the National in Chicago. We, we landed late thinking that we were going to be able to get a rideshare service and blah, 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 get back home. So we landed, got off the airport, blah, 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 everything was fine. And then an ordinarily $30, $40 fee to, for me to get back home from the airport... There was surge pricing. It was like a hundred dollars. 
It was ridiculous. But guess what? I took a regular cab. And uh, it was like 40 bucks. It was nothing. What I like about the cab, too, is that they, uh, I know, I, didn't take a, I hadn't taken a cab in years, you know, since ride-sharing services started. Um, but what was crazy, what was great, in my opinion, was that, you know, these, these uh, cab drivers are not looking for, like, individual, like, star ratings and whatnot. So this, this cabbie was just flying up the freeway like at 90 miles per hour. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Like no Lyft driver is going to go over the speed limit for fear that they may be like, they get a one star rating endangering my life or whatever. But I was like, no, get me, get me home ASAP. You know, you're a professional driver. You know, these roads, you drive these every day. So kind of liked it. Maybe, maybe I'm a, Maybe the cab I'm making a comeback. <laughs> so yeah, it's like Darren telling his daughter about yeah, what's a cab? Tell, it's like Darren Porterhouse Steak telling his daughter about pay phones. There's James Weissman for the Porterhouse Steak Warriors. Well, Darren, you could be you could be cool dad now and say, guess what? Could say, guess what? The cab is making a comeback. And she'll be the coolest kid on the block with that life hack. I have no idea how old your daughter is. I don't know if she's of cab using age, but <laughs> there's Theo Maladon. All right. Last little bit here. Remember, all card ship. There's Danny Avija Red, 80 out of 85 for Nick and the Wizards. I thought I thought that he was gonna be Well, he still could be. He, like uh like Luka Doncic had some experience, you know, as like a 17, 18 year old, as a youngster playing against grown men in like Europe. He's he was in the Israeli league. So I think he battled some injuries too. I think he's got some upside though. I think people were, were thinking of maybe, maybe could have some sort of a, maybe not Luka Doncic himself, but it's a, a similar kind of trajectory. There's Jameis Ramsey. Buddy healed. We got a nice Tyrese Halliburton base. He rattled off some rookies of the month. So he's got an interesting ceiling. Wish it was like a hollow, but there you go, Kaim. Eric Bledsoe, Kenyon Martin Jr. Could be an interesting youngster as well. We got a Jalen Brown and Vernon Carey Jr. to close things out. That's 40 out of uh, 95 for Boston. That's going to be for William. And there you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was a brand new release. Optic Basketball, this time Fast Break Edition. We've got another four-box Ram Team break in the store. One spot gets you two teams. Get at it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'm Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.